About a year and a half before her own tragic death, Sinead O'Connor endured one of the toughest losses a parent can face, one of her children. It seems she never fully recovered from her grief. The Irish singer's 17-year-old son, Shane O'Connor, was found dead on January 7, 2022, two days after he was reported missing, according to The Guardian. One day later, Sinead announced the tragic news on Twitter, writing, My beautiful son, Naveem Nesta Ali Shane O'Connor, the very light of my life, decided to end his earthly struggle today and is now with God. May he rest in peace and may no one follow his example. My baby, I love you so much. Please be at peace. In a now-deleted follow-up post, the singer dedicated the Bob Marley song Ride Natty Ride to her son, writing, This is for my Shaney, the light of my life, the lamp of my soul, my blue eye baby. You will always be my light. We will always be together. No boundary can separate us. Prior to his tragic death, Sinead had appealed to her son on social media not to harm himself and noted that he had been hospitalized following two suicide attempts. Shane was ultimately found to have taken his own life. Sinead had a close relationship with Shane, according to The Mirror, and many fans have remarked how similar the mother and son looked. Shane was born in 2004 as the third of Sinead's four children. His father is producer Donal Lunny. Sinead and Lunny split up shortly after Shane's birth. After welcoming Shane, Sinead announced her intention to retire from music, but eventually returned. Like Shane, Sinead also struggled with her mental health over the years. She revealed that she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, and borderline personality disorder in her 2021 memoir, Rememberings, and has spent time in and out of psychiatric facilities. In May 2021, she revealed that Shane had accompanied her to get her COVID-19 vaccine, with fans praising Shane for being a good son. After Shane's 2022 death, Sinead posted some concerning tweets and was subsequently hospitalized for a time, CNN reported. Months later, amid her grief, Sinead decided to cancel all her live performances for 2022. Her management said in a statement, Thank you to Sinead's friends and fans whose support and understanding we hold in the highest esteem throughout this period. The love being shown has been a source of great comfort and peace for Sinead. During a 2021 interview, Sinead told people that Shane was a real mommy's boy and also stated, He just loves his mommy since the day he was born. In her memoir, Sinead wrote that Shane was a genius as well as an extremely special character. The musician also noted the similarities between mother and son, writing, He is the child who is most like me, I believe, to look at and by his nature, although he is of course the version of me with logic and reason. Just prior to her devastating July 2023 death, Sinead discussed Shane on social media. Sinead posted a video on Twitter in which she mentioned the intense grief related to Shane's death. Your kid unfortunately passing away, it isn't good for one's body <laughs> or soul. O'Connor seemed to be making plans for the future though, pointing out a Martin Johnny Cash guitar on which she planned to write songs. Just over a week before her passing, Sinead posted a throwback photo of herself and Shane while sharing a heartbreaking message alongside the hashtag lost my 17-year-old son to suicide in 2022 and a series of crying emojis. She wrote, Been living as undead night creatures since. He was the love of my life, the lamp of my soul. We were one soul in two halves. He was the only person who ever loved me unconditionally. I am lost in the bardo without him. No cause of death has been revealed for Sinead. TMZ reports that there will be an autopsy, but police do not believe there was foul play. If you or someone you know is struggling with suicidal thoughts, help is available. Call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org.